Hi, I'm Lydia Williams. I play for the women's national soccer team, which is the Matildas, and I'm a goalkeeper. The thing that I love about soccer is that there's so much fun involved and you're in a team and with a lot of people that feel the same way that you do. And the reason why I try to be the best that I can is because I love the game. I like to stay really positive and make sure that I'm doing the best that I can to achieve my goals. So, uh, you know, with my attitude, I'm always positive. If a goal goes in, it's not the end of the game. We can still get one back. So you have to make sure you keep going until the end of the game and make sure you're enjoying it. You have to always love the sport that you're doing. Uh, if at any time uh, in my sporting goals that I start to go off track and not achieve something, I always have to make sure I stay motivated and I, I really like speaking to the people that motivate me, which would be my family and my coaches and my really close teammates. I'm back in Australia, even though I love being here, I wish I was still in Sweden, but I actually have a knee injury that I had to have surgery on, so that's one of the weaknesses that is affecting me now. But I'm making sure I stay positive and realising that my goals are always long term and short term and making sure I stay on the right track. I made a goal for myself that I would get in a professional club overseas before the end of the season and I achieved that goal and I get to play in Sweden where it's minus 34 degrees and you know your eyelashes freeze so I'm lucky for that. Hi, I'm Christy Harrow and I play with the Australian Opals basketball team. What drives me to be the best in my sport is um, winning. I think that's the, the, the thing that I love the most, and, but also to be one of the best players in Australia and in the world in my position. My attitude, uh, I think, with my sport and, and with the success that I've had, I've actually been quite lucky that my parents have actually kept me down to earth. When I was about 12 years old, I set goals, and I set goals that I wanted to go to the Australian Institute of Sport. I set goals that I wanted to play for Australia at the junior level and the senior level and um, that's what strived me to continue with the sport but the determination and the hard work that I had to put into the sport to get where I wanted to get. I set goals when I was younger and um, you know I'm happy that I've actually achieved a lot of them. At times I went off track with the goals that I'd actually set when I was a younger kid and one of those times is when I actually had a major injury with my knee um, back in 2001 and um, I was lucky enough to have my parents that have a lot of influence in my career um, to keep me focused, to keep me on track and you know my most important thing was to get back into the Australian team and make sure that no one you know took my position and um, you know but a lot of it I think comes back to when you are younger and setting those goals and and really believing that you can get there and you want to achieve them and and that's what I had I had the heart and the determination to do that Hello, my name is Raheem Williams. I live here at the Australian Institute of Sport and I'm a 400 metre hurdler. I'm motivated by sort of being the best that I can be and I know that um, the best of my abilities is going to be mixing it with the top people in the world. So I know that if I can get out and run well, I know that I can pretty much mix it with anyone in Australia or in the world. I'm a very, I'm very positive. Like you have to be pos positive um, to achieve anything. Um, if you're negative, you tend to focus on the bad things and forget on the good things that are happening and the good things that are helping you to really be the best that you can be. And a positive attitude can be the difference between you running very well and running sort of bad. In terms of losing track, I think. When you tend to lose track or lose focus of where you're going is when you start to get a bit negative, which I have done. I had a really bad year last year and I sort of lost my way. And then um, my coach guided me through the tough times that I had and now I really know where I'm at now and I know where I want to be in a few years' time. Hi, I'm Evan O'Hanlon and I'm a Paralympic sprinter. I run the 100 and 200 metres in the T38 class at the Paralympic Games. And at the last Paralympic Games in Beijing, I won the 100, 200 and the 4x1 relay, all in world record times. I have cerebral palsy. So cerebral palsy is basically brain damage uh, while you're still uh, inside your mum or just as you're coming out. And uh, that means that I can't move part of my body properly and I can't control it the way I want to. So for me, it's the whole left side of my body that I can't uh, coordinate the right way. And it means I'm less coordinated, not as strong. I'm a very competitive person and I think that's one of the main things that drives me to be my best in athletics. 
but also uh, the fact that I'm a disabled athlete, uh, I like to think that I'm kind of representing disabled people around the world when I go out to race. For athletes, attitude is one of the most important things, especially leading into a competition. I mean, attitude in training is always important because you obviously have to be there, you have to be switched on and training hard. You can't just have a light session because every light session you have is a session that somebody else has got up on you. So you don't want any of that happening. You want to be the best you can be. So you've got to have the right attitude in training. But competition-wise, a wise man, my dad once told me when I was about 10 years old, and I don't think I'll ever forget it, uh, was that competition is 90% mental and 10% physical. Hi, I'm Katria Thomas, a former swimmer. Um, I was a triple Olympic gold medalist in 2004 at the Athens Olympic Games. Anything that I actually do, I like to get the best out of myself and, and try and push myself to, I suppose, reach bigger and better things. Reaching your goals um, can be really hard sometimes and I think Sometimes when you prepare yourself really well and you know you do everything right in the lead up to an event and things don't work out, it can be it can be really hard and sometimes it can you know it beats people and they give up. Um, and I think it's the way that you deal with it is, is the real key. My name's Tanya Hebner, I'm a swimmer. I think what drives me to be the best in swimming is that I'm doing something that I enjoy. I think I wouldn't be able to put in the hours of training if I wasn't enjoying it. I think a positive attitude is something that's really important for achieving um, your goals and to be motivated and there's a lot of things um, in life that you can't control that are just outside of what you're able to have control of but I think um, on the inside your motivation um, is something that you have 100% control of.